Hello everyone, we're going to be giving you the most realistic first round NFL mock draft that you will not see anywhere else. But before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below if you're watching this video on YouTube so you can stay up to date for future videos that we come out with. With that said, let's get started. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Hassan Khan. I am the founder of this brand, Time to Football. Like I said, we're going to be giving you our official Time to Football first round mock draft. This is the most realistic that it gets because we dive into the brains of every single general manager, what their team needs are, and how they can maximize their teams and get the best talent to make them a winning franchise. What also makes this realistic is that we incorporate trades into our mock draft because you see a lot of mock drafts out there it's just pick by pick they don't predict trades that are going to happen when in reality a lot of trades happen in the first round with that said let's get started with pick number one and i feel like if i mention this name already people are going to back out of this video and be like this guy's trash he has no idea what he's talking about but hear me out with the first pick in the 2019 nfl draft the arizona Cardinals select Nick Bosa, defensive end, Ohio State. Now, I can already hear the groaning and the moaning and the people that are gonna comment and say that I'm wrong. I already explained in a six minute video why the Arizona Cardinals will not select Kyler Murray. So if you wanna know the exact reasons, go over to our YouTube channel and check out the last video that we posted and those are the reasons why. But to pretty much sum it up, the Cardinals are having a difficult time finding a suitor for Josh Rosen. Okay, so they don't want to take the risk of having Rosen and Murray on the roster at the same time. Instead, the Cardinals, who are already unsure if they want to draft Kyler Murray in the first place, will keep Rosen. They would love to trade down, but no one wants to trade up for the number one overall pick because they asked for too much. And instead, let's get Nick Bosa. The number two pick, the 49ers hold this, but what just happened? The Cardinals passed up on Kyler Murray. Everybody expected them to take Murray. With him still on the board, everybody's thinking to himself, man, what should we do? A talented player that's still on the draft board, we should trade up and get him before any other team grabs them. So, would the number two pick, the 49ers trade down to the Oakland Raiders and the Raiders select Kyler Murray quarterback, Oklahoma. Here's the reason why. Mike Mayock, John Gruden, they have trust in Derek Carr. They believe he's a good quarterback. But if he produces another mediocre season like he did in 2017 and 2018, then it's time to move on from him because the front office doesn't want to pay him $25 million a year. If you draft Kyler Murray, see what Derek Carr has in 2019. And by 2020 comes around, you get rid of Derek Carr if he doesn't live up to expectations. You free up all that cap space to bring in a lot of free agents before you move to Las Vegas and you build a winning franchise. To make it clear, the Raiders trade their number four pick and their number 27 pick to the 49ers for Kyler Murray. With a number three pick, this is helped by the Jets. But another trade happens. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers move up a couple spots and they select Quinn and Williams defensive tackle Alabama. The reason for this is because there's so many uncertainties with Gerald McCoy. Number four pick, the 49ers traded down and they select Josh Allen, uh, edge rusher, outside linebacker out of Kentucky. And the reason behind this is uh, he's the best available player and he doesn't really fit a 4-3 scheme, but with Reuben Foster gone from the 49ers, you kind of have to think that if you select Josh Allen as well, you may have to switch things around to make it a 3-4 defense. So the 49ers are going to select Josh Allen. The number five pick, this was originally held by the Buccaneers, but the Jets are going to trade down for that five pick. And they're going to select Rashawn Gary, defensive end out of Michigan. He's a good size for a 3-4 defensive end, but also in a 4-3, he could be a defensive tackle. So He's very versatile, and the Jets could shift him anywhere on that defensive line. The number six pick, the Giants have this, and they're going to select Ed Oliver, defensive tackle out of Houston. Everyone believes that the Giants are going to get a quarterback in the first round, and they still have the number 17 pick, so it's still a possibility. But at this point, they have to look at the draft board, and they have to select the best player available. Number seven is held by the Jaguars, but the Bengals will trade up with the Jaguars 
And at number seven, the Bengals will select Devin White, linebacker out of LSU. To be clear, they trade the number 11 pick and the number 42 pick, so a second round pick, to trade up a few spots. They want to get ahead of the Lions because the Lions also are in need of a linebacker and Devin White is the best linebacker available. The Bengals, this is their number one need in the draft after losing Vontez Perfect, and they're going to get their guy with Devin White. Number eight, the Lions select Montez Sweat, defensive end, Mississippi State. Pair him up with Trey Flowers, who they just signed for free agency, and Damon Harrison, who they traded for last year. That'll be a scary defensive line for Detroit. I know there's a lot of questions behind Montez Sweat and his heart condition, but I believe the Lions are still pretty high on him on their draft board. At number nine, the Bills need to solidify that offensive line, so they're going to select the best offensive tackle on the board, Jawan Taylor out of Florida. This is pretty self-explanatory. You give protection for Josh Allen, and he can do dangerous things. Number 10, the Denver Broncos select TJ Hawkinson, tight end out of Iowa. This guy is out of the Iowa factory of tight ends. Joe Flacco works really well with that position, and Jeff Hyerman and Jake Butt just aren't those guys for Joe Flacco to work with. Number 11, this was held by the Bengals, but remember the Jaguars traded down with them, and they're going to select Jonah Williams, offensive guard out of Alabama. They would love to have Jawan Taylor, but he gets selected by the Bills, but they're willing to trade down for a second-round pick and select the second-best offensive lineman, so it's not that bad of a deal for the Jaguars. Number 12, the Packers select Devin Bush, linebacker out of Michigan. The Packers... Linebacker is really the only pressing need for the Packers at this point, so they're going to go ahead and select Devin Bush. Lucky number 13, the Miami Dolphins select Dwayne Haskins, quarterback out of Ohio State. They'll be fine getting a quarterback in the second round if they choose, but this is kind of a steal for them. For Dwayne Haskins to fall down this late, you got your quarterback of the future right now with Dwayne Haskins. Number 14 is held by the Atlanta Falcons, but there's a trade. The Titans will move up five spots and select Brian Burns, outside linebacker out of Florida State. So the Titans are going to trade their number 19 and their number 51 picks. The Falcons, the reason for trading down, even though they need an edge rusher and Brian Burns would really fit in well with them, they have numerous players that they can take. There's so many defensive tackles and other edge rushers out there that the Falcons are okay with taking at number 19. The Titans really love Burns, so they're going to trade up to select him. Number 15, the Reds can select DK Metcalf, wide receiver, Ole Miss. The reason why they don't choose a quarterback in this position is because they already signed Case Keenum. They have Colt McCoy as well. So those two quarterbacks, they're not elite quarterbacks, but they could start a few games if needed. For now, they need a franchise cornerstone wide receiver because Josh Doxson, that experiment failed. Seems like Jameson Crowder is not going to be that guy either, and Paul Richardson he hasn't proved anything yet, so DK Metcalf is that cornerstone wide receiver for them for years to come. At 16, the Carolina Panthers select Andre Dillard, offensive tackle out of Washington State. They dumped Matt Khalil in the offseason. They also signed Matt Paradis at center, and they're still recovering from the previous offseason from losing Andrew Norwell to the Jaguars. At 17, the Giants get their guy. Daniel Jones, quarterback out of Duke. The reason why they choose Jones over quarterbacks like Drew Locke or maybe even trading up to get Dwayne Haskins or Kyler Murray is because he fits the bill in what they're looking for. Jones is 6'5", the prototype quarterback that the Giants love. Pat Shermer loves tall quarterbacks, and he's built just like Eli Manning. Jones is the successor to Manning in the future franchise quarterback for the New York Giants. At 18, the Minnesota Vikings will select Cody Ford, offensive tackle out of Oklahoma. This is one of the more surefire positions that the Vikings will address. There's really no need for an explanation here, other than that they really need to protect Kirk Cousins. Number 19, the Atlanta Falcons hold this pick now after trading with the Tennessee Titans. And with the 19th pick, the Falcons will select Christian Wilkins, defensive tackle out of Clemson. They really need a long-term solution at defensive tackle after this whole saga with Grady Jarrett is not guaranteed that he'll be around for the long run. Number 20, the Steelers select Grady Williams, cornerback out of LSU. 
They signed Steve Johnson in the offseason, but they still need some secondary help, and Greedy Williams, in my mind, is the best corner available. 21 is held by the Seattle Seahawks, but the Colts are going to trade up five spots to select Clellan Farrell, defensive end out of Clemson. So the Colts trade the number 26 pick and the number 58 pick with the Seahawks. The Seahawks need a second round pick, and the Colts have two second round picks. They drafted Tyquan Lewis last year, but they still need an edge rusher, and Cleland Farrell will be a big help for the Colts. Number 22, the Baltimore Ravens select Marquise Brown, wide receiver, Oklahoma. The Ravens lost John Brown in free agency, and they need some wide receiver help. Marquise Brown is kind of small in stature, but the agility that he brings is perfect for the run-first offense of Baltimore. Number 23, the Houston Texans select Garrett Bradbury, center, out of NC State. Pretty self-explanatory, just so that Deshaun Watson doesn't keep running away for his life. At 24, the Raiders select Byron Murphy, cornerback out of Washington. They would love some pass rushing help, but they have a high second round pick, so they can address that position. Then, Oakland gets Murray and Murphy, so they address the quarterback position and the cornerback as well. So it's not that bad of a first round for Oakland. 25, the Eagles select Dalton Reisner, offensive tackle out of Kansas State. This is pretty much just preparing for the future, just in case Jason Peters were to retire. 26 no longer belongs to the Colts, that goes to the Seahawks, and the Seahawks will select Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, safety out of Florida. This is a guy that can play safety or corner after the Legion of Boom disbanded and Earl Thomas is gone. He is a very versatile player that can play either position. 27 no longer belongs to the Raiders after that trade for Kyler Murray. So with the 27th pick, the 49ers select DeAndre Baker, cornerback, out of Georgia. So in the first round, they bolster their defense that was so poor last season. They get Josh Allen off the edge and some secondary help with Richard Sherman as well. So it's a pretty good first round for the San Francisco defense. Number 28, the Chargers select Drew Locke, quarterback out of Missouri. This is the intended successor for Phillip Rivers. We don't know how many more years Rivers has left in the tank. And at this late in the draft, at number 28, the Chargers see that this is a steal for them as well to get a quarterback. They need some defensive tackle as well, but Drew Locke will be a steal. At 29, the Chiefs offense just gets better when they select running back Josh Jacobs out of Alabama. They have Damian Williams and they just signed Carlos Hyde but they don't have a three down back and Josh Jacobs can be that guy. They need some edge help after losing D Ford, but they have two second round picks so they can address the edge in the second round. Number 30 is the second of the two first round picks for the Green Bay Packers. And with that pick, they're gonna select AJ Brown, wide receiver out of Ole Miss. The Packers don't have too many holes they need to fill. They already addressed their linebacker position at the number 12 pick with Devin Bush. And now it's just extra fluff. At this point, just take the best player available and add depth. Number 31, the Rams select Chris Lindstrom, offensive guard, Boston College. They lost Roger Saffold to free agency, so this is pretty much just to fill that void. And at number 32, the Patriots select Dexter Lawrence, defensive tackle out of Clemson. Some predict that the Patriots will select Noah Fant to replace Rob Gronkowski, but you can grab a tight end in the later rounds. For now, the first round talents that remain at defensive tackle are Dexter Lawrence and Jeffrey Simmons. You need some interior lineman help and grab one of those two guys to help your team. So that is our most realistic first round NFL mock draft that Time of Football could come up with. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment down below and let us know if you agree with some of the picks or you disagree. We definitely wanna hear from you guys. Also, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date for future videos that we come out with. With all that said, I'm Hassan Khan saying so long and thank you guys so much for watching this video.